Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. So we will go through our next node today, which is the distance node and let's see what the distance node do. So by the name distance node, you can easily guess like what it can do. It just takes the distance of a shape, combine it with some of the sources and just pushes like a distance through that. So let's take a look at, uh, at the example just to see how it will work. Now, here I have the distance node. Now distance node, you will see it needs a mask input and it needs a source input. Now this is a polygon I made. So this can be a mask. Okay, and you can see that there is a mask here. So and soon, uh, as soon I will put the, ma uh, the mask here, in the distance node, we have color and grayscale. So I can turn this into a grayscale because this is grayscale. If I increase this, you can see that it is increasing the distance. And right now, there is no source input here. So you can see this part of the combined source and distance is not activated right now. But I am able to use this uh, maximum, like, distance or minimum distance what it is uh, it is doing is that it is expanding the shape so that's what it do it expands the shape and when you have different combination of the sources here it will expand it with the uh, with the help of the source now next thing uh, down here is the distance modes right uh, we have like the Euclidean. then we have the Manhattan Manhattan you can see it's like X and Y so of, or like a top or like a hor vertical horizontal is more like uh, the pixels then we have here like like Shiba Chef now Shiba Chef here is basically you can see diagonals like you can see the line is going diagonally just like this so I'll go back to the Yishilian okay which is a uh, going everywhere it's like there is no such direction there uh, it's not there now i will take this uniform uh like the color here okay and apply it to this and then go back here now you will see if i'm trying to do anything nothing is happening the reason is that the combined source and distance is set to combine so it is combining this polygon with this uniform color it's just a whole big thing and I cannot do anything about it right now. Okay, I cannot see anything. So I will use only source. So if I will use only source, it will only show me the source. Okay. So if I go here, you will notice that. Uh, let's make this uh, grayscale. Okay. And this one in the color, like uniform color, I will make this grayscale. So let's go back here choose combine okay now this is combined instead of only source so i can see that it's taking this whole thing and applying through it in the same direction but result is the same because this whole thing is flat that's why without this or with this the result is same now how we will get the result suppose i will take this shape okay let's move this one take this shape up and I will apply let's do one thing let's first reset this then take this output of this shape and put it here okay so now I'll go back in the distance and here I have uh, like maximum distance now you can see I can see the source input and the mask is not there okay because this is the source what it is showing now before the whole thing was the source okay so that's why the whole thing was covered up and it was showing now this thing is the source so it is showing the source but mask it is it isn't showing so if i will start increasing the maximum distance here and use only source so you can see uh, 
So why the result is the same? Because actually what it is showing over here is this source, uh, which is the source input, which is the uniform color. So if I will click on uh, like, it's showing the combination, sorry, not the source, just the like, like combination, both of them, uh, the polygon and, uh, and the uniform color the mask and the source both of them together here but if i will change this to only source so it will show me this and this is the only source right now so if i will do the combine so it will show me both so what this mask is doing it is taking this uh, source and up and increasing the distance with the help of that source so what if i take this uh, shape from here instead of this so let's remove this one first of all let's do one thing here uh we set this value so that when i when we apply we can check by our own now i have it applied here now just notice where is our so uh, transformation uh like source our source is in this area okay in this area is our source and this is what it is showing it is showing me the source okay and the mask so this part if you will notice is this part of my polygon so that's why it is showing me the mask and the mask we cannot see because it is completely black uh, here but here it is white so whatever is like a white area the mask is showing in that area so this is is now appearing inside the mask area itself so if i will take this one for example and increase it you can see that it is covering the whole mask like that okay but let me undo that go back to here so this is how basically it will show but now what about the if i will go to only source it will show me that source okay only the source but right now i'm using the combine now here if i will increase the maximum distance so what will happen it will take this uh this source the mask and wherever is the shape of the mask it will start increasing the source in the shape of that mask so in the polygon shape you can see it is increasing the size so the source is circle but it, it is increasing the distance in the shape of the polygon now if i will use only uh source so what will happen it will increase only the uh it will only show me the source which is increasing with the uh in the shape of my mask so this is how you actually get the uh, result here. So this is what it do. Now, uh, one thing here we can do is that let's reset this and go back to combine. Now instead of this one, let's choose this one. This is with the uh, Perlin noise. So let's see if there is any sort of a noise inside. Okay. Now you can see this source is here okay and it's showing inside my mask which is this so in this area it is showing now if i will go here and start increasing the distance so you can see each and every bit of my uh of my source it's expanding in the shape of my polygon which is my mask now, if I will go back here and instead of uh, on, or only source, I will do, you can see that it is only increasing the source. It is only showing the source here. Now, if I change like the distance from Euclidean distance to Manhattan, I will have something like this sort of a result, like it will go in the Y direction or maybe in X direction. If it is a, uh, like a, like Shebyshev, so it will go in the diagonal direction just like this but i usually keep it like the ushadian ushadian is here and i will be using this okay so here this is how you will get the uh, like result and then you can apply uh you know levels to it 
and you can change a lot of different things you can get this sort of a result here so it's totally up to you what you want to do with this okay so but if you want you can do apply it just to see this is how you can get and this this like this sort of result you can get with it okay so if i remove this all of it keep it normal this is how you will get the result so interesting stuff you can make now let's do one thing let's see what else we can do we can make rocks and rock tiles with this like suppose i have this uh tile uh tile generator and through the tile generator i just made these i will plug this in the flood fill so i will have this flood fill sort of thing now from the flood fill i will plug it this in to flood uh flood fill to random grayscale so i will plug this in here and i will get something like that okay and from the flood fill to random of uh, grayscale i will take this and plug it inside the source input so this is if i click here it will show me this is the source now what i need here is the mask so what i will use here for the mask is this thing itself the dial generator okay and put it here and if i will use source on a uh, combine and i can max uh, minimize the like the distance or maximize the distance you can see what kind of result i'm having okay this is for example this is my uh source sorry my map sorry my source and then this is my map so it is taking the my map and in map and source almost look same so it, it it is increasing in the same direction of my source and when it is increasing the, the shape so i'm getting this rocky sort of thing i can do only source it will be all flat if i will do combine it will be not too flat it will have some sort of a uh, blurred edges or something like that now what i can do here is that i can put this in the edge detect so i can have this kind of edges or something like that or i can just leave it there and i can bring this whole thing and plug this here just to see what kind of result we will have okay so if i'll go here increase the maximum distance so you can see how the result is if i decrease it you can see how the result is but if i will use only source so i will get this sort of a result because like there is no um like a uh, gradient or blur over here so it will only show source without any the combination but within the combine it will create uh this sort of gradient so i will have this result i can change it to manhattan so it will look like this okay i can change it to chebyshev so it will look like this so you can make a different sort of uh, like result with it so let's bring these down we can use it for some other purposes like here okay now here we can use it to fix masks so what i will do here is that first of all let's put this here okay now what i have here is this tile generator and this child tile generator is going to the flood fill and also to the blur edge cube so from the flood fill it is going to the flood fill to random grayscale 
and then it it uh, as you know these are some random uh, grayscale value this will look good uh, to generate random uh, like a output if if it is plugged into the opacity of the blend so the one which is completely white will show one the, which is completely black will not show gray will show a little lighter gray will show a little bit more so just like that i will put this in the opacity in the foreground i have the perlin noise and in the background i have the uh, blur hq grayscale and you can see that i have uh with the copy everything because we are just using the opacity map here so now issue we are getting here is this black line all the way and it doesn't look that good if you will see they are not combining correctly and these lines here are are, are not blending into each other so what we can do here is that so to fix this we can use the distance node which will fix these like like this issue so first what we need to do is take this flood fill okay and use it as the source of the of my uh like distance node so i will take this put it inside the source input okay then i will take the dial generator okay or maybe I can take this uh, blur HQ grayscale and use it as the mask. Okay, so I will have something like this sort of a uh, tech result on my screen. Okay, so I can increase the maximum distance. Okay, I can use combined power. Or let's do one thing here. I think this. Uh, this is not working the like blur hq grayscale let's take the tile uh, generator the original one yeah this is fine so if you will see uh without doing any kind of maximum distance here let's make it combine and if i will increase the maximum distance you can see i will have some results okay so but let's lower it down completely like to go something like this and then we can increase it but first we have to put this output as the opacity now instead of this we will use uh, our distance as the opacity as soon we will do you can see that the result is getting better and better we don't have that output now if i'll start increasing this the result is getting more better okay so as much you want you can use that source only will give you this sort of a result like a blocky sort of result copy will give you or combine will give you like soft result uh, manhattan will give you something like this shabby chef will give you something like this so not much difference because it's all uh, boxes so you will not get some sort of result from here so this is highly used for fixing these sort of uh, masks here so i recommend to use it for these masks now let's do one thing let's bring it down here okay now one more thing we can use this for is let's uh, put this here to make your custom bevels if you don't want to use the bevels which is already inside the substance designer if you want to make your own for that purpose you can also use it so first thing i have here is the uniform color as a source now i want this whole uniform color inside a mask so i have i can use any mask so this mask if i will use the polygon and put it here so you you will notice that this is now showing inside this polygon and if i will go inside the distance so only source it it won't give me anything because it will just show me this whole thing but i want it combined to show this whole thing inside this area so automatically this white area will be shown and if i will increase the distance here it will start creating this bevel like feeling okay and i can use different sort of bevels here like suppose uh, i can use manhattan style bevel it will give me this result if i will use uh, 
Chebyshev, it will give me this result. So this Chebyshev and Manhattan, you cannot get with the uh, regular bevel, which is inside the substance designer. Now, we can make complex uh, like bevel also, like suppose with this waveform sort of uh, shape, I can plug this one in and I will have something like this. Okay, I can reduce it. Okay, and I can check uh, which one looks better. Okay, and you can get some interesting result with this. And you can create very uh, like, you know, complex uh, like bevels with it. So just see how smoother it, it looks like. You can go much more, much more, lesser, lesser, and lesser. And as lesser I will go, it will make it thinner, but a complex sort of a, a bevel. So this is one thing you can use this for. Other, let's see here. This one basically, uh, edge edge breaker you can see that okay now edge breaker uh how it works let's see i have here star and i will use this star as my source okay so uh, let's put the source here okay now let's reset this distance and now as a mask i will use the these tile generator stuff okay so you can see that now wherever these tile generators uh like spots are this ma uh, this whole thing will show so it will look like this okay but if you want to see other way around so select this one and see if i press x so the if the, if this will become mask and this will become source so it will look like this and if it is uh, this is like a, a different uh, like combination, so this will be shown inside here. So that you have it basically. But what do I mean by edge breaker? So edge breaker will only work if you have only source on. So if I will press on only source, so what it will do is that it will show me only my source and if I will keep on increasing the distance so what it is doing is that it is pushing my source okay outwards like with the distance and it is showing me these uh, like my tiles okay around here so this is how you can break the edge of anything you can increase it this is the maximum I can go, I think, or you can decrease it. But if, I, if you want combination, it will give you something, this sort of a result, okay? But source only will give you this result. So this is how you can break the edges. Like if you want to create something broken, or, or in, and then after that, you can apply bevel to, or sorry, your levels to it, a histogram scan, you can apply oh, so many other stuff to it. Okay, next is my favorite which is basically creating folds if you want to create some folds here so let's me move it down here like suppose i have uh this circle okay so what i will use uh the circle i will use it as a mask and this Perlin noise as a source. Now this Perlin noise is now showing inside my shape here. But the distance is quite less, so I can increase it as much as I want. Okay. Now if you will notice, it looks like you're looking at a, uh, like a table. And on the table, that like there is a piece of cloth which is stretched out. So it kind of looks like that. So if I will plug this into the blur edge queue, so it will make it a more look like that. If I will increase the quality and increase this much, it will give you more of that feeling, that sort of a feeling here. Okay. So now here, what we can do is that I can uh, blend this one, okay, with the help of... Uh, output I will put it here like background I will put it here and then shape I can put it in the foreground 
and here I can use my add okay or maybe I think add will be fine because I don't want you to confuse with these blending modes these we will study in our next chapter okay so I got this one here and I can take this put this inside the blur HQ so I can have this blur and this is already connected and you can see now it kind of looks like there is a, a fold coming out of this under the cloth or something something like that so I can reduce and increase it so that you can see how the result is coming up and if I go here change the opacity so you can see how things are So this is it. Uh, I hope you have liked this lesson about the uh, about the distance node. And this is how the distance node works. A lot of cool things you can do with it. And uh, our next lesson will be about our next node, and we will ch uh, we will check that. And I uh, I'm sure you will be waiting for the next lesson. So I would like to thank you all for your all uh, for all the support you have given me and I hope you will continue to support me please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to it yet and I will be posting a lot of new content so don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can receive the notifications about them if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and leave your questions in the comment section below and I will surely answer them in the end I would like to mention that please don't download the videos from my channel watch them online otherwise uh, all my hard work won't pay off like this so please uh, to support me always uh, watch my videos online Thanks a lot once again, everyone. And soon we will meet in the next lesson. Uh, take care of yourself, stay healthy, and keep learning. There's one important announcement I would like to make. I have started three great membership plans on my channel. I have introduced ZDI Friends membership plan, which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments. I have also introduced ZDI Early Bird plan, which will give access to Z interactive tutorials way early before they become public so you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch them. last but not the least i have introduced that i premium plan which will give access to advanced professional tutorial which you will find it very very expensive outside and i will be giving this at a very low amount of price so visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information i hope you become one of my members if you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television.